Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we have Hurricane Dorian, Tropical Storm Fernand, and Tropical Depression 8, and I know I've not uploaded yesterday, I was super, super busy yesterday, and yeah guys, and so we have all these storms. That still might, like, two of them will make landfall. One in Mexico and the other one probably in North Carolina. It will affect some islands. And so, for now, definitely a landfall. But Dorian's track keeps on changing, which is very scary. And basically, let's check on Fernand first since it's going to become basically a tropical storm which is already a tropical storm which i don't know why i said that and guys so it is going to make landfall tomorrow um uh tomorrow and so maximum sustained winds 40 miles per hour is movement west at seven miles per hour so that means that it's moving very slow at seven miles per hour west and it's supposed to make landfall, obviously. Tropical storm warnings are issued on the Mexico coast. And this is going to be very dangerous. And a lot of rain is going to rain. Yeah. And wind speed probabilities. More on, um, more on the coast than, um, than inside. And so we have parts of Texas that might get hit. And so now we have flash flooding potential, which is that part where Texas might get affected. But basically we have 10% slight chance of forming. And yeah, so yeah. So US potential rainfall parts of texas once again and we have t six to 15 inches of rain i'd say probably 10 to 15 but that's a lot of rain especially when it's going to go inside um wait on land sorry and so it's going to go on land it's going to rain harder on land then on the coast, Tropical Storm Fernand is very dangerous. And as, as you guys know, this season has been getting very active. And mm, update. Okay. So we have warnings and cones. And yeah, so usually I put on the forecast track line. And so we have... Tropical storm watches in effect for parts of Maryland and hurricane watches for parts of South, no, um, North Carolina. And we have warnings for parts of North and South Carolina coast and watches for Georgia in hurricane warnings. And right now in, Flor in at the Florida coast, Hurricane Dorian is affecting and um affecting florida and still affecting the bahamas islands which might be like bad because it's been about probably four days ever since it started affecting the bahamas and it's still affecting it as tropical storm force winds move away starting to get weaker and basically maximum sustained winds 110 miles per hour movement northwest at 6 miles per hour. So these storms are actually moving slow. And U.S. potential rainfall. So obviously, Maryland will have some. Parts of Delaware will have some. It will stretch up to Delaware. This is crazy. And so about 10 to 15 inches once again. But for Florida coast, basically... Four to six inches of rain, and for south, I mean, for and parts of Virginia is getting hit too. 
basically south and north carolina about six to ten inches of rain and yeah so virginia you get parts of it like williamsburg other cities yeah parts of it and it'll get about six no one to two not one to two but this will get a lot of wind damage and possibly affect new jersey so obviously north carolina has a 20 percent moderate percent chance of having flooding which i think north carolina is still recovering from florence so that will actually be even worse still recovering in damage the flooding probably went away haven't checked up on florence aftermath ever since probably may but that doesn't matter right now because florida might get flooded south north carolina might get flooded parts of maryland might get flooded this is just very dangerous and i this is why Durian is a very nasty, disgusting storm. So, this is Childhood Depression 8, which will become Gabrielle in a few hours. But I'm making this video now. So, maximum sustained winds, 35 miles per hour, moving northwest at 8 miles per hour. And so, basically, it's moving very slow, and nothing's going to get hit from this storm. Yeah, basically going to turn this way after. So, no, no island is in effect. And it says, towers and thunderstorms associated with a thorough of low pressure located several hundred miles south of Bermuda were showing some signs of organization. Development of this disturbance is possible during the next few days while it moves northward. Interest in Bermuda should monitor the progress of this system. Periods of heavy rainfall are likely to impact Bermuda. So information chance to 48 hours, which is 2 days, medium 50%. Information chance to 5 days, medium 50%. So again, this might affect Bermuda, but not affect... I mean, I don't think it's going to... Um, it is possibly going to make landfall in Bermuda, but possibly not. We don't know, but it will certainly affect Bermuda. And yeah, guys, that's the Atlantic. It is super duper active today. Let's get it. So we have Juliet, like Romeo and Juliet. So it has become a major hurricane. In maximum sustained winds, 125 miles per hour movement west northwest at 7 miles per hour. And guys, obviously I saw a change that storms are starting to go a little slower, which is actually bad cuz remember Dorian was like 1 mile per hour. So and it gained some strength and it kind of weakened, but guys, 1 mile per hour is so Slow, and that is pretty bad because say like dorian dorian was also moving pretty slow so just dorian being 185 miles per hour is because it's moving slow and warm water is it just it's fuel the bahamas was its fuel and basically the bahamas has warmer water so that's why it became 185 miles per hour and i noticed that storms are moving very slow so now let's go on tropical tidbits and just like that guys we are on tropical tidbits and as you can see and uh, yeah guys so, we have Fernand and Dorian and Gabrielle. <laughs> and basically, there might be four storms at a time. It's the second time in a row that might happen. Basically, that disturbance right now is going to... Sorry, I forgot to read that. But I'll read that tomorrow. as a 70% chance of forming. Basically, the models show it being a category four, category three to category four. 
basically hitting the hitting New England, which could be pretty bad. And so that could be pretty bad, especially for like the whole East Coast. It's still kind of recovering from CND. Some still some knocked over trees in Philadelphia that I saw on some still some stuff in New York. Stuff happening. Yeah. Sadly or kind of still recovering so and tropical storm seven okay they need to fix that but basically mm, that looks monster that looks like a cockroach if you look at it it looks like a crab <laughs> that one model has to predict it as a category one I don't think it's going to become a category one. If it does, that's going to be even worse. Just predicted being 45 miles per hour, making landfall. Hopefully, it doesn't even come stronger. Hopefully, by the time that we... I mean, of course, we can't say that hopefully it doesn't make landfall because it will make landfall. And so, tropical depression A, one model has to predict it as a category one. And yeah, guys, so I told you it's going to turn. That's what I expected. And yeah, guys, so hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you learned something today. And moral of the story or moral of the day, basically keep out, keep watch of the hurricanes and Make sure to evacuate when they're coming. And if you live on islands like Bermuda or Cape Verde Islands, you better stay prepared because Bermuda and Cape Verde Islands do have a lot of hurricanes every year. And yeah, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, comment, and if you're a new subscriber, please hit that like button, comment new, comment that you are new, and comment about weather, and if you are a returning subscriber, please hit that like button, and a new subscriber, hit that subscribe button, and please leave a comment in the videos, what I should do. Not what I should do next, but what type of weather would you like to learn more about? And yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video, and bye!